You're watching Shooting USA, America's number one source for firearms news and information. Oliver Winchester put his name on his first repeating rifle in 1866. It was really an improved Henry rifle. But his next generation lever gun, the model of 1873, was a design that would stand the test of time. The famous Winchester 73 is now one of history's guns. What does it feel like? It's indescribable. This shooter cannot even find the words to explain what it's like to fire an old gun, especially when that rifle is a 130-year-old Winchester 73. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a piece of American history, a big piece of American history. No question, the Winchester repeating rifle holds an iconic place in the legend and lore of the Old West. And no lever gun was more revered than this, the famous model, 1873, the gun that won the West. So this gun has got a tremendous amount of history in it, and I just wish it could talk. Robbie Roberts is curator of the NRA's Whittington Center Museum in New Mexico, and he is also a collector. This is his Winchester, built in 1881. The Winchester 73 played a huge role in these parts where the Santa Fe Trail and Great Plains meet the Rocky Mountains. I can close my eyes with this gun in my hand and I can just imagine the people coming down the trail. I can imagine cowboys on, on cattle drive. I can imagine Billy the Kid riding through this area, followed closely by Pat Garrett. I've got a vivid imagination. The legendary Winchester was only one, although the most famous in a line of 19th century repeating rifles. What you see laying in front of you is a whole lot of history. And what it is is basically an evolution of the repeating rifle, lever action rifle in, in America. It is an evolution that began in the Civil War with the well-known Henry rifle. They said it was a gun that you load on Sunday and shoot all week and it evolved into the 1866 Winchester, which led to the development of the 1873 Winchester. They strengthened this gun and it developed into the Winchester 1892, and then the, the, the gun that most everybody recognizes today is the 1894 Winchester. Most 73s were chambered in 4440, a black powder pistol cartridge. Colt and other six-gun makers followed soon after, building revolvers in 4440 so cowboys could carry just one type of ammo. A shooter could load up to 18 rounds through a loading gate on the 73, an innovation called King's Patent. Winchester bragged the rifle's action was so fast, you could fire two shots every second. That's where the advantage is on a repeating rifle. And what an advantage it was, making the 73 the favorite rifle of just about everyone. Extremely popular with the outlaws, the good guys, uh, law enforcement, you know, the sheriffs, and the Indians. And part of what made it so popular is the lever gun's simple design. The action works on a swiveled link. So as you pull that lever, it worked that, that link is pulling the bolt back, okay, which it lifted the lifter. Which carried a fresh round of 4440 and loaded it in the chamber. It's simplicity in its finest. And that simplicity equaled reliability. And reliability meant sales. Winchester sold more than 700,000. Boy, oh boy, a Winchester 73! The rifle became such an Old West legend, it even inspired a Hollywood movie. Jimmy Stewart hit the bullseye with his 73. And then fought off attacking Indians. And finally won a duel to the death with the fellow in the black hat. And Robbie's Winchester is still throwing lead. It is no museum piece. But his 73 is surely a legend, and this is the first time he has ever fired it. Got talking to you yesterday, and I said, I need to drag that old gun out and see if it'll shoot. And 
by golly it does. And I'm shooting a piece of American history and there's nothing better than that. Now, even though Winchester made advancements on the model 1873 with the models of 76 and 94, to many, there was simply no improving on the Winchester 73. It stayed in production until 1919, nearly half a century.